Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's going to be like a double introduction here. Um, the carving turns out great, don't get me wrong, but I, uh, I do this thing sometimes where I press the record button and it stops recording and I'm under the impression that it is recording. And I did that about five times during this video. Um, just really tired today. Um, so there are chunks that are missing. Um, there's one part that I, I just couldn't uh, leave empty, so I, I had two cameras running. So it'll uh, you'll see, you'll see it right. If you guys have any like comments or uh, get lost at any one point, just drop it in the comments. I'll uh, I'll pay much attention to this one. Just uh, being quick to respond to you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already to keep up to date with the uploads. I'm trying to upload once every week, um, and next week I will be doing a raccoon tutorial. Uh, I had a comment or a request for that, and midweek I'll be uploading a. a I had a couple people ask me to do a video on uh, how to char sharpen the chainsaw properly and just general maintenance around that. So I'll probably send something like that up on Wednesday. Alright guys, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, happy Friday. Today we're carving a fish. I'm really nervous, so bear with me here. Uh, I've got a picture, oh god. <laughs> got a picture of a, it's a sockeyed salmon is what they call it out here in BC. So I'm going to give that a go on this little bad pup here. I've got about a two and a half foot log and we're just going to do him like this. Yeah, kind of bent with a, with an arch to him so he's kind of jumping out of the water. And uh, the first couple of cuts are pretty simple. The, the whole carving is just really simple. The whole uh, 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 finishing process is kind of where the, the hard part kicks in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do my first couple of cuts. And I'll show you where those are after they're all cut out. So, this is our carving at this point. As you can see my cuts here, we'll go from the side. These are the first two I did. Tell from the base where the log is at. I just went down, cut a kind of a curved angle, matched it on the other side here. This part over here, this is his back. I kind of went out on purpose to leave room to carve the fin. So he'll actually be going around like that. And this is the back fin. Uh, I left the front pretty robust to carve the fins on him. Alright, so you probably can't see a damn thing on here, but I've got, I drew my center line of where the middle of the fish is through its entirety on there. Um, I roughly drew the end of the head, drew the head on so I know what kind of shape that needs to be. And I found where my fins are going to be. I sort of drew out my body, right? So, how are you going to go about carving these fins are, is wherever a fin ends, you're going to dig your saw in a little bit until it meets up with your body in a sense. Really hard to explain. Um, you're going to carve everything but the fins until we get to the point where we're going to be carving out the fins. So, like I said, wherever a fin ends, cutting the bottom and then thin down the body. I'll carve a couple of them just to give you a rough idea of what I mean. Uh, first I'm just going to shape out the rest of my body, kind of make his head look more like a head and just uh, uh, thin down the back because the back of the fish only has two fins and they're dead center. They're not little little flippers, they're just you know up top. So we'll do that and then we'll do a roundabout view of what I'm trying to show you here. All 
right, so essentially what I just did here is I, I just kind of turned them into a triangle, right? And uh, in the process, I also cut off everything that I just drew on. But as you can see, it's starting to take a fishy shape already, right? <laughs> I'm joking because it looks nothing like a fish. Alright, so we've still got a lot of space up in here. So I'm actually going to start uh, going in where the fins are and then doing the same thing on the back as I did on the front. Narrow his body down, but at the same time leave all of his fins jutting out. So bottom of the fins, body, uh, then bottom of the fins. I, I, I have to carve it to show you because I'm not really good at explaining on this one. didn't narrow the top down but I should have done that had them jut out here but what I mean when I say carve your fins out you're gonna go uh, where the two main fins on the side are there's one right below the head and there's one almost in the middle of dead center of the fish and then I think there's just one down at the bottom here I'm gonna leave that for now uh, how I did this is I gently carved a, uh, a center line, maybe even use pencil, and uh, I cut in. There's my camera here. Just cut in, and then put my bar in. And then I brushed out. So now we've got our four fins on each side. I'm going to continue to narrow down the fish. Uh, work on the bottom, get a sense of where his tail is going to be. Kind of carve that out. And uh, there's another fin right here, just to try to keep him in there. So we're just thinning him down at this point. So this is the, the fish so far. I've gone down and I've just really sanded it to a, to a place where I'm happy with the, uh, the shape. There'll be a, a final sanding of course. Now he's still relatively chunky and you're going to want to keep him relatively chunky just for the sake of making little boo-boos on the fins. I'm going to give you guys a close up and show you how to do one fin. And then I'm going to just go ahead and do the rest of them. Uh, we'll get close in here. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, dig underneath a little bit. And then shape them out. And then just kind of leave them sticking out. When you're done the fins though, the, the, the carving becomes uh, quite delicate. To the point where if you accidentally hit a fin, you're, you're going to break it. And then we're going to do the mouth. But first, let's get one of these fins done. Alright, so this is the finished fin. It's nothing too special. All I've done essentially was I cut under with the chainsaw to about halfway where the fin is. 
so half is not attached half is attached then I drew on the shape where I wanted the fin to be then I just shaved it down on either side as you can see from this angle half on half off gives it a uh, more stability in a sense so when we're finishing so when we're finishing it we're just gonna draw lines to make them fin like so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and uh, just finish shaping out the body should probably add on on the back fin all I did essentially was uh, thin down the body to the point where I found the center then I just sanded down both sides of the fin and uh, just continue shaping the body I have to do that down here and on the one underneath the body here actually gonna draw the face on with the marker and then probably just cut in with a, uh, a chainsaw down to the open point and then everything else is gonna be with die grinder and dremel and uh, flap sander now depending on what fish you're doing they all have different faces this one's relatively confusing it's got an open mouth a hook jaw a pointed bill just a nightmare of detail. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw them on there and we'll get cutting and I'll uh, get a close up in here when uh, I'm going at it. Alright, so for the most part, the head is pretty much carved out. I went in with a, uh, a burr. I'll show you that bit in a minute here. Was, was this burr right here? You get these on Amazon, a whole set for about $20. And then I went into the mouth with my round bit, uh, half inch I believe it is, just to give him some depth on the inside of the mouth. I also went and carved the gills. You can get an idea of where these go by uh, looking at your reference photo. Carved the bottom of the mouth here. And uh, for the most part, I'm just gonna be sanding this one and uh, doing some lines on the fins. 
and then uh, finishing off the tail and then I'll be using my uh, power gouge to kind of give the impression that there's waves down here. I'll uh, sand it up real quick and draw the lines on the fins and then we'll jump down to finishing off the base. Alright, so I just simply went down and, and touched it with the grinder to give it that appearance of, uh, of fins. I used a dull uh, backing pad, which actually burns the wood as opposed to sands it, and gives it a nice little groove. It's the other side. It's looking spectacular. Now moving on to the base. Now you want to give it the impression, well I'm shooting for it, the fact that the fish has just come out of the water. So given the direction in which it's going, the waves will be flying away. So I'm going to go around with my power gouge around the back side. I'm going to go in once, lower it down, then in again, and kind of give it a hooked feature to look like the waves are jutting up. Now I've not had very much luck when it comes to carving water, so I'm going to try my best here. Uh, bear with me, water is a very hard uh, element to capture when it comes to carving in my experience. So I'm going to give it my best shot. If you don't have a power gouge, I suggest making a line with a chainsaw and then digging it out with uh, the one inch ball on the die grinder. Thank you.